Runway Gen 3 was just announced and these AI videos are stunning. We've got intricate physics simulations, cinematic lighting, reflections, and perhaps most importantly, we've got yes. wigs and glasses falling onto bald men. We've got every example, info on how the tech works, and if you stick around, we will show you how they are planning to take on not only Sora, but Hollywood itself. AI video is moving insanely fast. We have a new model that just dropped. What are your thoughts on this? My thoughts are that I can't see enough of it. So let's watch this video from Nicholas Newbert, which teases Gen 3 and its capabilities. This is a video that shows you the power of what it's gonna lay out. Obviously drone shots, realistic human beings, Kevin, there's a rocket that's going into space as she's running. Seen this now. 10 times, 12 times, and every time I catch something new, something that I love and something that is slightly broken, right? If you're seeing this for the first time, grab a spatula and pull your jaw off the ground because this looks amazing. This is the next gen of AI video generation. If this is what we're actually going to get out of Runway Gen 3, Gavin, when we prompt it. And Kevin, you know what's pretty cool about this? Compared to OpenAI Sora, they have said specifically that it is going to come to everybody in quote, the coming days, which we don't know what that means, but we would hope the coming days means weeks max and not like six months like Sora did. 2027 is still technically the coming days, Gavin, if you <laughs> say it with true, gravitas, exactly. in the That's coming exactly right. days. That That's could be right, exactly. 2080. Gavin, as people are looking at these Gen 3 Alpha examples, they should notice physics. They should notice the way hair, fur, fire, water. They should look for the interactions between yes. those elements. And we will show a sample of that in a little bit that is mind blowing. But that is what is so fascinating here. It used to be, Gavin, less than a year ago, you would look at video generation, even still generation and go, oh, well, that, that looks kind of good. That's looking better. Yeah. And now it is feeling good, it is moving good, it is reacting. And that is a follow-up on a little bit of what we heard on Sora. And, and to be clear, Runway has a very deep and detailed blog post about the release of this and a ton of videos. So we're gonna keep showing videos throughout our video today so you can get a sense of what this is. But one of the things they specifically call out is that this represents a significant step towards their goal of building general world models. Kevin, if you remember when Sora dropped, they had the same idea. And why do you need to build general world models? Well, because the physics of video to generate this sort of physics, you kind of have to build the idea of how the world operates. And in fact, Crystal Ball, the CEO of Runway ML, dropped a couple videos himself where he specifically showed physics. There's a video of some marbles dropping into a glass jar, which is pretty interesting. Is it perfect? Far from it. No. But is it progress? Absolutely. And, and again, Sora showed a lot of things like this, uh, what was this like six months ago, but we are still waiting on Sora. And there is a little bit of a promise here that we are going to be getting this a, significantly sooner. This was the one that blew me away here because it's not just the physics of the raindrops collecting yeah. on the pane of glass and falling in the background, but it is what happens to the realistically modeled fire in the background when water yeah. collides with it. And that is a very simple thing that us humans get, of course, but this is the world model that Runway announced a long time ago that they were building. I wanna put some like cavemen around this fire and I wanna have it rain on them and look up at the rain and wonder what God <laughs> dropped the rain on them. Like I am gonna do all sorts of insane <laughs> SimCity type stuff yeah. when I get access to Gavin, this. Gavin, we are right now those cavemen and we are gathered around our monitors <laughs> like it is this fire. And we're going, ooh, 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 ooh fire, steam, fire, rain, fire, ooh. put out rain, rain, put out rain, fire. fire, steam. <laughs> the other thing about this that's really fascinating is Runway is specifically a company that was created to help filmmakers. So there are things like motion brush or advanced camera controls or director mode, all the things we've covered in the show, those are going to be integrated into this model. So, you know, motion brush was something where you can tell the direction of which way you want the thing to go. So you have that video up there of the monster walking across the street. You know, there's a great world where like that monster video might appear in a kind of a slot machine pull and you're like, I got the most incredible generation, but it's not doing what you want it to do. Runway is building the sorts of tools that will allow you to kind of tweak that without having to reprompt it, which is very awesome. 
another really interesting thing, Gavin. Hands and text yeah. are two things that seem to be very difficult for AI to grasp. And it's a common refrain, it's a common joke. And not only do they have an example of a, an old man playing piano where they show off the hands as the camera pulls back, but they had an example showing off graffiti on a wall where not only does it just get the words right, but it gets them coherently within the scene. Yes. So here we see someone walking down an alleyway, a white brick alleyway per the prompt, lit by a flashlight. And you can see the yeah. way the light is reflecting off of that spray paint that's on the wall and the spray paint says what it's supposed to. I mean, there are still AI image generation apps that struggle with text. And here we've got it within a simulated world with accurate lighting effects on it. It's Monday morning? What? <laughs> to nitpick one thing about this one, if you look at the prompt for this, handheld camera moving fast, flashlight in an old wall, white wall in an old alleyway at night with black graffiti that spells runway. One thing about this video, if you notice, is the camera actually isn't moving that fast, which I thought was an interesting thing. It's a small nitpick. Oh, Gavin, this is, the, this is the speed with which I move when I tell my wife I'm gonna do my honeydew chores very fast. This is how quickly I get up to sure, take out the sure. trash. But I was expecting it to be like, like moving back and no, forth, right. all that stuff. Right. But but it's a small nitpick. But again, like this is the, the slot machine nature sometimes of the stuff, which can get tricky. Let's talk about what it is good at, Gavin. You have a selection of drone shots, which are pretty great. If you own a drone company, I am sorry, but you may be in trouble right now because there's so much drone footage out there in the world because drone footage was pretty valuable for a while, right? Now they've all trained, all these AI models are training on drone shots. So this is an incredible shot you see of a, of a drone coming down and then going through the crowd at a concert and yeah. you can see the people's faces like, that's pretty amazing. Now, who knows what that band was? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'd go to see <laughs> yeah. Eagle Rock, I was Rob, say, Rob, it, If you have a drone, don't worry. You're shooting real events. If you have a yeah, virtual exactly. drone company that covers yes. Meltfest 2025. But when you look at some of the other stuff, and we've talked about this with Sora too, right? Flying over specific places that are known once you've mapped those places in the AI and the world understands it, like your shot of Big Sur that you're taking, unless a, a Godzilla monster is attacking at that moment, a real Godzilla monster is not gonna be that exciting. Uh, yes, that's true. But if it's a live event like this fictitious concert, yes, of course. you know, yeah, 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 of course. That's another yeah, beast. Yeah. The other thing I wanna point out, which Runway does really well, which is real human faces. One of the things they're really calling out is the fact that it can render emotion. And again, this goes back to Runway is the tool that is positioning itself as a tool for professional and amateur filmmakers, right? This one's fascinating here. You've got uh, a puppet droning incessantly about Lord knows what, <laughs> while a, a human is stoic in the front of the frame. The, the physics on the puppet are pretty amazing, the way that the yeah. fur sort of realistically flops while it's talking. Um, this is That puppet is me when I'm talking to you about our YouTube analytics, that's what it is. <laughs> Kevin, don't you understand? We have to do this now. <laughs> I've got a chart about the usage of commas versus colons in our thumbnails and our, our titles. Kevin, Kevin, it's three in the morning, Kevin. Why aren't you awake and discussing this with me? So if we're talking about realistic humans, Gavin, we gotta talk about the reason for the season, yeah. This is the deal with it meme 2.0, right? Glasses That's and right. a wig falling on someone. Yep. The coherence isn't fully there and I respect them for releasing that and showing it because if you look at the way some of the subtleties in the the, the wrinkles of the face change. If you watch the way the mouth, the teeth sort of blend <laughs> and great blur loop, though. into the gums. It is a great, it is a loop. great, great loop. But yeah. I mean, it just shows how far along the tech is, but how much further it has to go. But again, if you're casually scrolling, if you're flicking through social media, or if this is a two second shot in something, people probably aren't even going to notice these things. It's only because yes. we are hyper analyzing them. What did you think when you saw this? Because my gut was like, oh, that's not AI. The physics are too good. Well, that's what it's that's what it starts to feel like. And I think that this is where we're at right now. And I want to remind everybody, like, you know, we had Luma AI just come out last week with Dream Machine. Sora has been teasing stuff kind of like this, but the idea that this is all happening now is that like Sora was ahead of the game, but it feels like everybody's kind of rushing. I do want to talk a little bit about maybe what it's not as good at, Kevin. And I think the other thing that I kind of noticed myself was that the surreal stuff maybe wasn't as good as what I saw out of Sora. They had a video of a man made of rocks walking in a jungle or a forest almost and it looked a lot like a person in a rock suit you know what i mean they don't have a neck but like it didn't feel and like look at the shoes the shoes look like regular shoes i feel have like three was, pairs of those crocs actually yeah. in that exact colorway 
<laughs> uh, and then they had another video of a guy who was like a cotton candy or a cloud guy that kind of like I love this video. Really mad. I flagged yeah. on a great the play. Video. This is a great video. The sense of but scale again, is surreal. The mouth, the gaping maw, the light on the back of the cotton candy man. Sure, but it feels like to me again a guy in a suit a little bit, right? You know what's not so good, Gavin? Horse physics. What? All no. of these companies have horses in their demo videos. OpenAI, when they showed off Sora, they had one where it turned yeah. like a video of a car driving into a horse-drawn carriage or like a chariot, and it was just dangly, horsey bit legs on the bottom. Yeah, if, if you can't do it, don't render it. It's fine. We don't, don't need to it. see broken horse physics. That's it. I I'm feel done. bad for the I'm horses. <laughs> I will say the idea that they are positioning themselves to be for creatives and for filmmakers. And in fact, in this blog post they put out, they have a specific section called industry customization. And in this section, they say customization of Gen 3 models allows for more stylistically controlled and consistent characters and targets specific artists and narrative requirements. They are working with leading entertainment and media organizations to create custom versions of Gen 3 already right now. So this is in the hands of media orgs out there doing stuff already. And this is where Runway is going to separate itself, right? OpenAI is such a big company. They're making, they are attempting to make deals with entertainment companies I was going right to say, we, we've reported on that in the AI for Humans podcast. We know that the Sora team specifically is courting Hollywood, probably trying to get visual effects artists on board, trying to get them to use their technology for pre-visualization stuff. Maybe they've got a version of it that is Hollywood ready and it can render high quality enough to be on screens, but this is clearly runway taking a shot across that very specific bow, right? Oh, you want yes. your characters, you want your IP to be in these generations, Pixar and Disney, Sony, whoever. Here's a form where you can request yeah. information right on their yeah. initial blog post. So while runway has, been great at putting these AI tools in the hands of you and I, Gavin, really democratizing creation, which we love. They're very clearly courting Hollywood. All right, everybody, please like and subscribe this video. We're very happy to kind of go through this stuff. We'll have more on Runway Generation 3 as we get it. Also this week, we'll be covering a bunch more AI tools. So be sure to stick around to this channel and we will see you all soon.